Can I ask you something? How often do you compare how many followers you have to someone else's account? The most followed users on Instagram are Ariana Grande, Selena Gomez, and Christian Ronaldo. They have over a hundred million followers each. Now, maybe you're sitting in your chair thinking, what the fuck? I don't have an A-list celebrity background. I'm not a model. How can I start building a small following, maybe to 10K? And I know you've seen a lot of videos about people with Instagram strategies and you've maybe applied it and it just hasn't worked. Today I'm gonna to show you my non-bullshit, okay, 100% legit strategies to grow your Instagram account. All I gotta do if you wanna know is keep on watching. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Jade and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today, we're gonna to teach you how to grow your Instagram. Yay! Now listen, before I dive into all the Instagram strategies, I just wanna quickly, obviously thank you guys. I know some of you might be new here, but if you don't know, a year ago, I made an Instagram growth video and I got over 1 million views. What the fuck? You guys are amazing. And I quickly just wanna share some of your guys' success stories from applying my tips and tricks and grow your account. Check this out. Like, oh my god, you know what this is? Thank you so much. It's just. I just wanna say thank you so much. You are amazing. Now I'm gonna stop talking and you guys know I don't wanna bullshit any longer. We're gonna dive right in. I just wanna start off saying there's only two simple things you need to know in this entire video. You've seen people that say go follow, unfollow, go use engagement groups. I've actually said that advice before. Um, and maybe you're confused which one to go for. We're all busy people. What's actually gonna get me results? So I really wanna set up the story so you understand how to grow your account properly and not buy some fucking random ass followers. I want you to really think, like the most followed users on Instagram are A-list celebrities. But if you take a look at maybe Kylie Jenner's comments, what do you see? Actually, wait, hold up, let's do that together. <laughs> if you guys don't know, I'm currently back home. I was traveling so much this year, um, working on my business. Uh, basically, I help brands and influencers grow their account. So make sure you guys stay to the end of this video I'm actually gonna give away my engagement group secrets. So you just gotta wait to the end. I gotta, I gotta hold you a little longer, okay? Okay, so Kylie Jenner, do we all know her? Maybe, maybe. So this is a picture of Kylie and Kim, queens. Okay, so I wanna show you guys the comment section and maybe you're wondering why the fuck do I need to care about the comment section? The reason why this is so important is because you have to understand in order to grow an Instagram, it isn't some magical, let me use this website that says automation and grow your Instagram and people are gonna follow you. It doesn't work like that. People don't follow you just because you get a shout out. People don't follow you just because you have cute content and your selfie's nice. People follow you because of this. If you look at her comment section, do you kind of notice that a lot of people are tagging their friends. For example, I'm just gonna call out this poor girl that has no idea I'm gonna call her out. Uh, you know, Fiercella tags her friend April Lopez and says 100%. This user, which is under Alexa Sko, God, you're gonna hate me that I'm calling you out. But you know, just commented to her friend, Rachel Kappen, saying that they're the same. There's about um, exactly, you know, 20,000 comments. So this tagging, you know, behavior is common in every celebrity. I actually want you guys to check it out. Go on Ariana Grande, go on Selena Gomez. It's either like some random ass spam comment or someone tagging their friend. The reason why I'm saying this is because why the fuck is everyone on YouTube giving a tutorial on how to use hashtags or, you know, follow and follows and like trains to grow their account when the real growth is happening through tagging people. And I just realized this, it's so simple, okay? There's only two things you need to know on how to grow your account. First, have content that's shareable. And second, share it. Now, I know you're sitting in your chairs thinking, Jade, what the fuck? I don't understand that. I, I make content. I hope people are sharing it. How can I make sure this is actually working? Now, I know what you're saying, Sally, okay? This is some intense advanced shit. Everyone out here who's watching this video is the real deal. Most people on YouTube would watch some bullshit tutorial, but you're on this channel to learn the real deal stuff. So the first thing is how do you make good content, Jade? <laughs> how do you know this shit? Okay, first of all, I don't know everything. I do have an Instagram account, which I'll link below, which has around 30,000 followers, and I get around like four to 6,000 likes per photo, 
with a variation of 500 comments each per photo. This is such a flex. Flex on the gram, like, like, flex on the gram. Making great content is all about storytelling. I'm telling you, it's not about how pretty you are or how good your butt selfie is. I mean, those get likes, people love that. Now, that can't change on Instagram. But what about caption? You know, what story are you telling? How are you trying to give people value? Once you understand what type of story you wanna tell, whether it's a, you know, a day in a life where you tell about, you know, your food, what you eat in a day, or you share things about maybe your photography hobbies, it's important to tell a story. Because once you tell people a story and they read the entire caption, they look at the photo, that's when step two is able to come in handy so people can share it. The number one thing you have to realize is viral posts don't happen because it's random. It's very strategic. If you really look at your fucking explore page, it's typically posts that are butt selfies or memes or things that are like really easy to understand. I know a lot of you guys are posting shit that has no story, that has no value. It's just blue ass water, which is totally fine. But in order for people to share it and for this post to go viral, you need to tell a story. Quickly, just want to mention, Instagram just rolled out a brand new feature that has never been done. It's actually called the share button. I know if you have a business account, maybe you have the analytics. I highly recommend you guys to get the business account so you can look at your data better. But now you can actually see how many people are sharing your post. This is insane. People are going to be able to tag three friends. You can now see people who are putting yourself in the group chat. So let me give you a few examples. So this is one of my viewers, Carlos. What's up, Carlos? I'm putting you in this video. So basically, one of you guys asked me, hey, Jade, I got a lot of likes on this photo and now I'm not getting any likes. What happened? And I basically kind of took a look at Carlos's data and together we came up with a solution. So shout out to you, Carlos, um, for being the real one. What we found is one post that got 12,000 likes versus another post that got, you know, 2,000 likes was only because of one thing. If we look at the data, it's actually based on the shares. So the one that got 2,000 likes had four message shares. Now the one that got 12,000 had over 109 shares and 5,000 bookmarks. The reason why I'm analyzing this data and sharing it with you guys is because you need to look at your own analytics. You do not just create good content because here's the truth. All creating is recreating. Now hear me out. I know you're rolling your eyes. You have to understand like when you're in school, for example, I used to be in school and we would have to make first, second, third drafts before our final draft. Comment below if you done that before. It was terrible. We would have to make a first draft. We had to edit it, make a second one, keep editing it until we could finally put out our homework. Now, this is the same thing on Instagram. You can't just sit here with three posts and complain why you're not getting likes because all creating is recreating. When you post one thing, you try to look at the data, see, and just ask yourself, what can I do better? Maybe I can add this caption or this filter. This is what people like more. Let me do more of it. So with Carlos, you know, he had to post maybe a hundred times before he found out what do people love the most? And then you just keep repeating it like that but each person is different so for Carlos it might work better to do you know pictures of a slideshow of room decor but for you you might have to do videos about you know educating what you're good at and fitness so I guess my whole thing is kind of deceiving you guys want to know how to make great content the truth is you don't you make shit content but you learn from it and you keep recreating it and you just get one percent better and over time you'll learn hey what do people like to share more because here's the honest truth all these gurus can tell you how to grow but we don't actually know how to help you. It's different. Now, trust me, I've, I've been there. I, I think one of the things that I actually was so stressed about was making another video that hit a million views. Like this one, this video you're watching right now, I know might be kind of meta. I know you're watching this video and you're trying to like take notes and get value, but I had so much anxiety just trying to figure out what I wanted to say because there was so much pressure I put on myself. No one else, literally just me. And I don't know if you've been there, but ourselves are what prevents us from anything. It's not gonna be your fucking algorithm. It's not the fucking, oh, I don't have a nice camera. It's yourself. I wanna just kind of reach my hand out and just let you know, it's okay if you fuck up. It's okay if you don't know what to, it's okay if you don't know your Instagram feed or layout. I guess the bare basics is create first, edit later, then that's how you grow on Instagram. And I think the biggest thing that Kylie Jenner does really well is make people talk about her for her. There's a reason why you don't see a Kylie Jenner ad. There's a reason why Selena Gomez doesn't have to, you know, do an engagement group because people are talking for her. The comment section, her fans are the ones sharing it. Maybe you have to ask your followers to share this photo to their group chat. One of the biggest things is you have to be smart with engagement groups. I have a video all about engagement groups, by the way, if you wanna check it out, link below. I truly believe that if you can make people to understand your story, 
they will share it for you. And that's the most organic way to grow on Instagram without a follow and follow, without bullshit strategies. This is so simple. And I, have, I know a lot of you guys are not gonna take this information because it's fucking hard. It's hard not to see results immediately. It's hard not to see growth and become Kylie Jenner tomorrow. The reason why we had so many success stories from last year isn't because people went out there and started like doing it tomorrow. It's because every day they implemented our strategies on this channel together. And the key word is over time. Small wins over time is how these people grew their account 10 times. I want you guys to realize